Due to recent events currently making headlines, several movies, both in release and in development, have been affected. Sonic the Hedgehog's international box office has been compromised, production on Mission Impossible 7 has been suspended, and now we have a high-profile delay. As it turns out, this is no time for release, as the latest James Bond film No Time to Die has been pushed back from April to November of 2020. That's a seven-month delay, and at face value, it might look as though the delay is exclusively about waiting for a certain outbreak to pass. However, there may be more to the delay than what you see at surface level. In this video, we'll begin exploring all the production trouble No Time to Die has underwent up to this point, and what else there may be to this seven-month delay. Finally, we'll briefly go through the other affected productions. As always, much of the information cannot be independently verified at this time and must be treated as rumor. We advise you as always to take it with a grain of salt. With that health warning out of the way, let's dive into what we've heard. Over the last few weeks, the 007 hype machine has been kicking into high gear. December 24th, 2019 saw the release of the latest Bond trailer with a handful of TV spots airing through February. On February 13th, Darkroom and Interscope Records released the new theme to the latest Bond movie, No Time to Die by Grammy Award-winning artist Billie Eilish. Against the backdrop of the outbreak we cannot speak of, however, news came via the official James Bond Twitter feed that the film's release was being delayed until November of 2020. You may have noticed that we have been specifically avoiding naming a certain pathogen that has been in the news as of late. Just as we have specifically avoided stating it, if you read their tweet carefully, there is no mention of said infection. Unlike Midnight's Edge, they wouldn't need to worry about summoning the wrath of the YouTube gods. So why would they avoid specifically pinning their decision on the virus that shall not be named? We may have some more insight as to why this might be the case. As we have covered in earlier videos, the production of No Time to Die has been a tumultuous one. The film has been plagued by numerous setbacks, including a change of directors, a complete rewrite of the script, the last-minute hiring of Fleabag writer Phoebe Waller-Bridge, and even star Daniel Craig injuring himself on the set in Jamaica. Is the seven-month delay due to the outbreak, or could the movie still have issues the outbreak gives them the opportunity to address? It's very uncommon for a film which is so close to release to pump the brakes and push back its premiere, examples of which would be the 2012 remake of Red Dawn, which was delayed for over a year while VFX crews scrubbed every reference to China from the finished film, replacing the iconography with North Korea. Alita Battle Angel was on the cusp of its release when complaints of Alita's eyes caused the film to be corrected, and most recently, Sonic the Hedgehog, where Paramount and director Jeff Fowler decided to postpone the release for four months in order to completely revamp the appearance of the title character. Those incidents were all widely reported as there being something wrong with the finished film. Where those were cases of there's something being wrong with the film internally, in a case of No Time to Die, MGM and Associates are suggesting with this tweet that they are delaying it because of the outbreak. Or at least, that's how the media is interpreting it. Midnight's Edge may have information that sheds new light as to why such a long delay may be occurring. Sources have informed Midnight's Edge that a recent test screening of No Time to Die did not go well. Though we don't have any specifics as to what was ill-received by test audiences, we are being told they are scheduling two pieces of reshoots to last 12 to 14 days, and that they are using the outbreak as cover to avoid bad publicity. With a very public and problematic history of the film, it would be very easy to believe that an extensive delay would be more than likely due to issues with the film itself than the current global health threat. Midnight's Edge would not insinuate that MGM United Artists, Annapurna, and Universal would do something as nefarious as to use a global outbreak as an excuse to cover themselves. We must reiterate at this time that this is only a rumor. However, there are a number of factors that support the seven-month delay being more from internal issues than external ones. Nobody knows how long the current situation will last. Considering the theatrical release schedule, MGM pushing back the film this far may not be the worst idea. With a crowded summer film season approaching, there may not be room for a Bond movie amid the summer blockbuster tentpole films. However, November and December are quickly becoming a new blockbuster season with the holidays becoming ever more crowded. In the United States, MGM United Artists and relative newcomer Annapurna are handling the release of No Time to Die. Universal is distributing the film internationally. Since Fast and Furious 9 is also a Universal property and they are hitting the release date on schedule, it's difficult to imagine Universal will be on board to delay the release of the film by seven months. So far, no other high-profile films have been delayed due to the global crisis. It would seem that Universal would be affected more by a poor international release at this time than MGM would be in the US. 
With the costly promotional campaign well underway and the expense of starting, stopping, then restarting the campaign this far out, MGM is in no position to have the extra expenditure without a good reason. Getting the hype train rolling again will be an expensive endeavor for MGM. Unlike Warner Brothers and Disney who have an embarrassment of riches in terms of franchises, MGM has been struggling to add properties to its stable. Outside of the forthcoming Bill & Ted film, MGM has barely made a dent in reviving such properties as Robocop, Death Wish, and their version of Child's Play. For the struggling studio, James Bond is not only their crown jewel, it's their most valuable asset, upon which their empire's fortunes rest. Considering these factors, it would make more sense that MGM would delay the film due to a problem with the end product and not because of a global outbreak. As you are already keenly aware, Marvel's Phase 4 has been positioning itself on television for Disney's new streaming service, Disney+. Several series are already well into production, including WandaVision, Loki, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. On February 28th, ComicBook.com reported rumors were, that according to their sources, that the plot of Falcon and the Winter Soldier dealt in part with bioterrorism. According to their sources, the series was undergoing reshoots in order to not include this plot thread. According to their source, there were whispers on the set that Disney would be getting out in front of the news by altering the plot of the series. Unfortunately, there is no confirmation of the suggested reshoots at this time. It's not uncommon in the wake of a tragedy for a film or television series to alter its production if a storyline hits a little too close to home to actual events. If these rumors were true, this would not be an isolated case. Midnight's Edge has learned from sources that an internal email from Pinewood Studios management claims that they plan to cease operations due to the current emergency conditions in the UK and other regions. This will potentially have a huge impact on productions of several different films and television series. The same source also claims that the upcoming Lord of the Rings series may be put on hiatus. Little information has surfaced regarding the Amazon production. So far, the only known filming location is on the original Lord of the Rings sets built for Peter Jackson's trilogy in New Zealand. If this is true, this could have a huge impact on the series. A separate source close to Midnight's Edge backs these claims and says if the series can't get back on schedule, it may be cancelled completely. The reason for the cancellation would be contractual. If you are familiar with our coverage of Star Trek and Spider-Man, the situation here would be similar. Amazon would need to have Lord of the Rings in production by a certain date or they could lose the rights. Despite these productions being affected, Screen Rant have reported that Black Widow, Fast and Furious 9, Onward, and A Quiet Place 2 will not be delayed and will be released on schedule. With several high-profile films forging ahead, one would ask why would a mere virus stop Britain's and cinema's most famous and resilient secret agent? What do you think? Do you think the delay is due to a problem with the production or because of external factors? Let us know in the comments. One last note, you may have noticed that one of our videos was recently deleted. You can find that and more exclusive content, including deleted portions of our interview with Star Trek Voyager actor Manu Intereme at Midnight's Edge's Patreon.